Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss how to write a unit test case for ng4. In the previous video, where we discussed how to write a unit test case for ng switch. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch previous part of this tutorial series. So let's go to the Visual Studio and see what, uh, like how to write a unit test case for ng4. So now here you can see what I have done. I created a one variable called color name and it's an array type and I have assigned some of the color. And here you can see there is a another array which is a complex array means like it contains two variables like name and ID. And name is basically black, uh, white, blue, green and ID I have given 1, 2, 3, 4. So these two array I am having. One is the normal array and another is the complex array. So similar to that, like in the HTML side, what I have done, I created a one div and I'm making loop over this color name means in the normal array. So here you can see I'm normally printing the item, it means the color. Next, what I have done, I created a another array that is the color list with this complex array and I'm printing item.name and item.id, which we can see here. Now, next, what I have done, the complex array I am printing here and here what I am printing basically. So over this color list, I am taking the index, I am taking the first, I am uh, taking the last and I am taking the even number and I am taking the odd number. And with respect to that, I have assigned the classes. Instead of the ID, I have assigned the classes. And here you can see ng43, ng42 and ng41 is the classes I have given and like I have taken as a first uh, number, last number, even and everything I have uh, like printing here. So now after running this, if we will go on the browser, we can see like in the first one, we are normally printing the color. So we can see here now in the second one, we are printing the num like the color and the ID. If you will go here, you can see like the ID and the name we are printing and in the third uh, what we are doing basically here zero zero means what is the id so basically if you will go here i i is the index so zero one two three four so based on that it is printing zero one two three now next is like either it is a first number or the last number so based on that like first will be true or will be the false because those are not first similar to that one we are printing the last so false 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 and true because three is the last number now this one for even and odd so zero and two is the even number so basically like you can see the even and then based on that we are checking the odd so this is the way we are printing now we will write the unit test case but my one first we will write a unit test case for simply array like we are printing the color so let's go to the visual studio and spec file and here what i'm going to write i'm going to write the test case so what i'm going to write here ng41 simple array unit test now inside this one first let's take that dom element and the type of this will be the debug element and it's a basically array type that's why we have to take in the way of the array now fixture dot debug element dot now here query all because we have to get the all the data like by the loop it is going we have to take and how we are taking by dot css and the class which we have defined dot so now here basically so now query all and inside this one by dot css inside this one we have to give that particular CSS and that is like for this one ng41. So now this I am printing here. Now what I will expect, so expect element dot length. What will be the length? Dot length and the length of this two equal and here length will be four. So now if you will save it at point of this time, so if you will go on the browser, they are currently four color that's why the length will be four so now once we will save it we should see one test case should pass here if it is failing now let's see why it is failing here so let's go on the browser and what it is saying expect zero 
to equal 4 let's see why it is expecting 0 so now here like first what we have done we have print like element and then debug element picture debug element dot query all by dot css okay so we have put uh, like dot because by css we have to take it now let's save it and check uh, what is the output at point of this time so in this case at point of this time we can see our test case is passing if we will go in the browser we can see our test case is passing now next thing like we will check for the values like the color so what we have to do element dot we have to make a for each loop over this element and inside this one what we will do we will take object of type debug element and we have to make the loop index and the type of this will be the number and now we have to make loop over this one so what we have to expect we have to expect like obj dot children because we are printing so here you, why we are writing the children so as per the previous video inside this div we have another div in this we are printing so that's why we are writing the children of zero dot native element dot inner html inner html dot trim so we don't face any like any trim issue dot to equal now inside this one what we have to check component dot color names and index so now let's save it so basically what we are checking here first we are making the loop so we have taken a object and the type of this is the debug element now inside this one what we are checking that particular object of children zero native element dot inner html dot trim equal to this uh, component dot color names and let's go here so basically what we are checking with this color names now it is failing let's see why it is failing if we will go it is saying can't read property as a trim so let's see why it is giving this issue so inner html dot trim so let's make this html as a capital so we are missing here now let's save it and we can see our test case is passing as expected and if we will go on the browser we can see this is uh, like passing as expected so this is the way like we are checking all the value for the uh, ng4 so we, we we are making the loop and then we are checking the values now next we will uh, write a unit test case for this complex type like where we are printing the name and the id so for that one what i am going to do first i am going to copy this so, so it will save our time so now after writing this one what i am going to do i am going to make as a one here so first like for getting the data what we have to write the ng4 2 so now this value will be the four only because now like for this one also we if you will see here we are taking the four color and if you will go on the browser here so we, we can see here we are having the four colors now let's go on here and here what we have to do so first we have to make the loop as it is now here what we will expect instead of like currently we are printing the colors name so instead of this color name we have this color list so let's copy this one color list and here what we have to do index of now first what we are printing we are printing the name and then so let's take and then what we have to write we have to component dot color list of index dot id so basically what we are printing here we are printing the name and the id so based on that like we can see here we are print like we are expecting same like whatever the inner html so whatever the inner inner html will be the name and then dash then id so this is the way and we can see our test case is passing as expected and if you will go on the browser we can 
like let's go here and we can see our test case is passing now next we will write the unit test case for this third one where we are printing the like index first last even and odd so for that one what i am going to do i am going to copy this one and here i am going to write as a 3 and here the class id will be the 3 and for writing the unit test case this will be the same because the color uh, length will be the 4 only and here the index is the number and here so what i am going to do i am going to take a one variable inside this one output and here what i will do so here i will take like dollar of index and dollar of index if it is equal to equal to 0 then true means the first number so basically if the index equal to equal to 0 it means it's a fun first number otherwise it's a not means the false now next is dollar of element dot length minus one if it is equal to equal to index then it's true otherwise the false so basically this is for uh, like the last number so whatever the whatever the element length is there if we will make minus because array array always start from the zero if it is equal to equal to index then it's true otherwise it is false now after this one again dollar of index if we like take two equal to equal to zero then what it will be e1 and then if we will take dollar of index module of 2 if it is equal to not equal to equal to 0 so if it is not equal to equal to 0 then it's an odd so this will be the odd so what we have written first we have taken the index so if, if you will see here we are printing the i means the index so here i have taken the index then we are checking it's a first number or the second number so based on that equal to equal to zero and if we are for the last one we are checking this like if the element length minus one then equal to equal to index it's a last number and based on that we are making true or false and then we are checking odd and even if it is like uh, if the module is zero then it's an even otherwise it is the odd so that we are checking and all this value we are taking inside one variable that is the output now let's copy this one and here what i am going to do dot inside dot equal i am going to check it so here i have uh, like what i am checking like if it's the inner html dot trim if it is equal to equal to output then the test case will be passed and we can see on the browser and here like all the three test cases is passing and here we can see the test case is passing so this is the way we write the unit test case for ng4 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you